Well, um, this is an area where uh, it's called Jettestu in Danish and means uh, giant's living room, if I uh, translate it correctly, but it's not the actual meaning of the place. The uh, meaning of a Jettestu or a giant home is uh, is actually a, um, a burial place. And on my another vlog, another tr another upload try, I actually was uh, filming one of these places, but not as nice as this one. Uh, and this is how they are built and what they actually found in here. And this is privately owned. And the person that owns this place owns this land. And it's for public uh, benefit. Um, they're trying to preserve the burial place. And this is for kings, Viking kings. And they they think that all we had several thousands of them but the uh, people that uh, lived in 18 and early 1900s demolished them because they wanted the space for their land to do crops and stuff like that so uh, uh, it's now become um, Uh, every man's possession or owned by the people no torches because fire breaks the stone and you're not allowed to have open fire in here but I'm willing to take you in here so uh, this is my height and I am 185 or 6 foot something so now we're entering this nice little place. I don't think it's more than half a meter. As you can see, people are uh, having open fires in here, which isn't allowed. And in a second, I'll show you how this nice place is built up. And these stones are huge. You can probably see in the frame how big it is. I can actually stand here upright. Just. <laughs> and the stones haven't been creeping down. <coughs> I've been in here in winter time and it's the same. <laughs> Hi, and it's the same uh, temperature temperature in winter time as it is now. Um, it's quite nice. 
so um, yeah you can see people are stupid and it isn't wood it's stone and that's why they say no torches in here uh, luckily they haven't cracked I remember as if I don't remember if it is here but one of the places they actually rebuilt the place with new uh, with a new no a couple of new stones because people had a fire going inside and some of the stones cracked so they had to find new stones uh, give you a proportionate look from another angle oh. I'm not young anymore. This place is called Um. <laughs> Translated to nowadays word it means uh, uh a pain that isn't a direct pain but you're kind of sore so but it, this is a very old place outside of Roskilde Roskilde was the capital of Denmark in the old days in Viking Age Copenhagen just became capital I think 500 years ago four or five hundred years ago so okay shutting off the light and give you a look at the outside and I have something very special to tell you about this opening this opening is probably uh, maybe a yard high in this direction um, and in specific times in the year the sun will come up right up here in winter time and summertime on, on a special day uh, I think it's equinox I'm not sure I don't remember and this entire room will be lightened up I haven't I saw it once when I was a couple of years old and I can still remember it but I don't know where I saw it it wasn't here um, okay I'm shutting off Once again from the outside. Nice big place. Now we're going to the towards the place where the fireplace was. And I learned something new. We have a small animal living here hatching. A uh, oh what it's what's it called in English? A um, like an anoli kind of uh, animal, small it has vertebras but can throw the tail and stuff like that if, if it's hunted and this is the, pla the fireplace shown from above So we came around from that side, went over here, going back in that direction, just to show you the entire place from the outside. I have a feeling that sometimes a hit strap would be a nice thing to own. Maybe I'll make a cap. Oh. I think those are going to be fixed this summer. It looks like some kids have been been messing around. Sad. I love those birds. I love to live in a place where I can hear the birds. With a lot of trees around me. 
maybe move to Canada or something. <laughs> I don't think that will ever be possible, but I would love it. Okay, guys, see you later. Enjoy the view. It's actually quite warm today. <laughs>